Christmas is just around the corner and my front yard was looking like a small jungle. So before crack opening a cold one with the boys, I plan to fix my front yard. For this project we need pallet wood, protective equipments like face mask, glasses, gloves, sanding tool, hammer, measuring tape, nails, handsaw or chop saw, knife, pliers, pencil and paint of your choice. Using two hammers I'm going to dismantle the pallet. My aim is to reuse all the nails that are used in building this pallet. Redwood and cedar are in general the best option to build a raised garden box in terms of longevity because they are naturally rot resistant and have been known to last for over 20 years and they look gorgeous. Let's start by measuring the length, width and the height of the area where I'm going to place the planter box. Based on the measurements, I'm going to assemble the two small sides first. After that, I'm going to put together the two long sides and join them all together. Once all the sides are ready, I'll paint the parallel planks grey and the legs with the black paint. After that, I'm going to add the potting mix to the planter box and plant the agave plants to the box. Well, enough of talking, let's get started. Let's start the project by sanding the planks to give them a nice and smooth texture. After that, with my magical super fast hands, I'm going to cut the wooden blocks and keep them aside. As per the plan, I'm assembling the two identical small sides first. The two legs which I'm going to put on the sides are going to firmly hold the three inner blocks. Next, I'm assembling the two longer sides. The planter box is not going to move from its position, so there is no point of adding any planks to the bottom of the box. Once all the sides are ready, I'm joining them all together. For a bit of extra support, I'm adding a metal bracket to hold the sides. Alright, that's all with the nails and the hammers. In the next section, I'm going to paint the exterior of the box as per the plan. My partner came up with an idea of drawing borders between the wooden planks. And frankly speaking, with a bit of an extra effort, the box now looks even more appealing. Before pouring the soil into the box, I'm adding a liner to help maintain and prolong the life of the container. Frankly speaking, lining can be something as simplistic as a black trash bag. These bags are easy and cheap alternatives to your ground liners. If the bag is too big or has a lot of extra length for your wooden planter, you can cut away the extra length with a scissor. Place the bag in the planter to check how much of the bag you need to eliminate. The pallet planter is almost ready. All I have to do now is to fill the planter box with soil. Remember, do not overfill it and make sure to keep the soil at least couple of inches below the lining level. And now to evenly plant the gavy plants, I'm placing few sticks to find the right spots. And that's it. To wrap it all up, I'm one by one removing the sticks and planting the agave plant in the box. This is another beautiful creation of the wooden pallet that is recycled into an excellent piece of work. So, let's ring the boys and crack open some cold ones. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope it helps you. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Thanks. See you again in my next video. Bye now.